a major organ of the endocrine system, the anterior pituitary, is the glandular, anterior lobe that together with the posterior lobe, the makes up the pituitary gland. The anterior pituitary regulates several physiological processes including stress, growth, reproduction and lactation. Proper functioning of the anterior pituitary and of the organs it regulates can often be ascertained by blood tests that measure hormone levels. Structure The pituitary gland is a pea-sized gland that sits in a protective bony enclosure called the cella tersica. It is composed of three lobes, the anterior, intermediate, and posterior lobes. In many animals, these lobes are distinct. However, in humans, the intermediate lobe is but a few cell layers thick and indistinct. As a result, it is often considered as part of the anterior pituitary. In all animals, the fleshy, glandular anterior pituitary is distinct from the neural composition of the posterior pituitary. The anterior pituitary is composed of three regions. Pars distalis, the pars distalis comprises the majority of the anterior pituitary and is where the bulk of pituitary hormone production occurs. Pars tuberalis, the pars tuberalis forms a part of the sheath extending up from the pars distalis which joins with the pituitary stalk, arising from the posterior lobe the function of the pars tuberalis is poorly understood. However it has been seen to be important in receiving the endocrine signal in the form of TSHB informing the pars tuberalis of the photoperiod. The expression of this subunit is regulated by the secretion of melatonin in response to light information transmitted to the pineal gland. Earlier studies have shown a localization of melatonin receptors in this region. Pars intermedia The pars intermedia sits between the pars distalis and the posterior pituitary, forming the boundary between the anterior and posterior pituitaries. It is very small and indistinct in humans. Development The anterior pituitary is derived from the ectoderm, more specifically from that of Ralph K. Euro unregistered trademark S. pouch, part of the developing hard palate in the embryo. The pouch eventually loses its connection with the pharynx, giving rise to the anterior pituitary. The anterior wall of Rathke's pouch proliferates, filling most of the pouch to form the pars distalis and the pars tuberalis. The posterior wall of the anterior pituitary forms the pars intermedia. Its formation from the soft tissues of the upper palate contrasts with the posterior pituitary, which originates from neuroectoderm. Function The anterior pituitary contains five types of endocrine cell, and they are defined by the hormones they secrete, somatotropes. Prolactins, gonadotropes, corticotropes, and thyrotropes. Hormones secreted by the anterior pituitary are trophic hormones and tropic hormones. Trophic hormones directly affect growth either as hyperplasia or hypertrophy on the tissue it is stimulating. Tropic hormones are named for their ability to act directly on target tissues or other endocrine glands to release hormones causing numerous cascading physiological responses. Role in the endocrine system Hypothalamic control Hormone secretion from the anterior pituitary gland is regulated by releasing hormones secreted by the hypothalamus. Neuroendocrine cells in the hypothalamus project accents to the median eminence, at the base of the brain. At this site, these cells can release substances into small blood vessels that travel directly to the anterior pituitary gland. Other control mechanisms Aside from hypothalamic control of the anterior pituitary, other systems in the body have been shown to regulate the anterior pituitary euro unregistered trademark S function. GABA can either stimulate or inhibit the secretion of luteinizing hormone and growth hormone and can stimulate the secretion of thyroid stimulating hormone. Prostaglandins are now known to inhibit adrenocorticotropic hormone and also to stimulate TSH, GH and LH release. GABA, through action with the hypothalamus, has been shown experimentally to influence the level of GH secretion. Clinical evidence supports the experimental findings of the excitatory and inhibitory effects GABA has on GH secretion dependent on GABA-A Euro unregistered trademark S site of action within the hypothalamic pituitary unit. Effects of the anterior pituitary Thermal homeostasis 
the homeostatic maintenance of the anterior pituitary is crucial to our physiological well-being. Increased plasma levels of TSH induce hyperthermia through a mechanism involving decreased metabolism and cutaneous vasodilation. Increased levels of LH also result in hyperthermia but through a decreased metabolism action. ACTH and prolactin increase metabolism and induce cutaneous vasoconstriction. Increased plasma levels also result in hyperthermia. Follicle stimulating hormone also may cause hyperthermia if increased beyond homeostatic levels through an increased metabolic mechanism only. Gonadal function. Gonadotropes. Primarily luteinizing hormones secreted from the anterior pituitary stimulates the ovulation cycle in female mammals, whilst in the males, LH stimulates the synthesis of androgen which drives the ongoing will to mate together with the constant production of sperm. HPA axis Main article hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, the anterior pituitary plays a role in stress response. Corticotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus stimulates ACTH release in a cascading effect that ends with the production of glucocorticoids from the adrenal cortex. Behavioral effects. Development. The release of GH, LH, and FSH are required for correct human development, including gonadal development. Breastfeeding. Release of the hormone prolactin is essential for lactation. Stress. Operating through the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, the anterior pituitary gland has a large role in the neuroendocrine system a euro unregistered trademark S stress response. Stress induces a release of corticotropin releasing hormone and vasopressin from the hypothalamus, which activates the release of adrenocorticotropic hormone from the anterior pituitary gland. Then, this acts on the adrenal cortex to produce glucocorticoids such as cortisol. These glucocorticoids act back on the anterior pituitary gland and the hypothalamus with negative feedback to slow the production of CRH and ACTH. Increased cortisol under stress conditions can cause the following, metabolic effects, bone reabsorption, activation of the sympathetic nervous system response, anti-inflammatory effects, and inhibition of reproduction growth. When the anterior pituitary gland is removed in rats, their avoidance learning mechanisms were slowed down, but injections of ACTH restored their performance. In addition, stress may delay the release of reproductive hormones such as luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. This shows that the anterior pituitary gland is involved in behavioral functions as well as being part of a larger pathway for stress responses. It is also known that hormones are related to certain skin diseases and skin homeostases. There is evidence linking hyperactivity of HPA hormones to stress-related skin diseases and skin tumors. Aging, operating through the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, the anterior pituitary gland also affects the reproductive system. The hypothalamus releases gonadotropin-releasing hormone, which stimulates the release of luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone. Then the gonads produce estrogen and testosterone. The decrease in release of gonadotropins caused by normal aging may be responsible for impotence and frailty in elderly men because of the eventual decrease in production of testosterone. This lower level of testosterone can have other effects, such as reduced libido, well-being and mood, muscle and bone strength, and metabolism. Tactile responding, it has been shown that infant mice who were stroked with a paintbrush had more release and binding of growth hormone from the anterior pituitary gland. Circadian rhythms, light information received by the eyes is transmitted to the pineal gland via the circadian pacemaker. Diminishing light stimulates the release of melatonin from the pineal gland which can also affect the secretion levels in the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis. Melatonin can lower levels of LH and FSH, which will decrease levels of estrogen and testosterone. In addition, melatonin may affect production of prolactin. Clinical significance, increased activity. Hyperpituitarism is the condition where the pituitary secretes excessive amounts of hormones. This hypersecretion often results in the formation of a pituitary adenoma, which are benign apart from a tiny fraction. There are mainly three types of anterior pituitary tumors and their associated disorders. For example, 
Acromegaly results from excessive secretion of growth hormone often being released by a pituitary adenoma. This disorder can cause disfigurement and possibly death and can lead to gigantism, a hormone disorder shown in a euro a euro such as Androcopyright the giant, where it occurs before the epiphyseal plates and bones close in puberty. The most common type of pituitary tumor is a prolactinoma which hypersecretes prolactin. A third type of pituitary adenoma secretes excess ACTH, which in turn, causes an excess of cortisol to be secreted and is the cause of Cushing's disease. Decreased activity. Hypopituitarism is characterized by a decreased secretion of hormones released by the anterior pituitary. For example, hyposecretion of GH prior to puberty can be a cause of dwarfism. In addition, Addison's disease can be caused by hyposecretion of ACTH and a lack of cortisol. Hypopituitarism could be caused by the destruction or removal of the anterior pituitary tissue through traumatic brain injury, tumor, tuberculosis, or syphilis, among other causes. This disorder used to be referred to as Simmons disease but now according to the diseases database it is called Chihan syndrome. If the hypopituitarism is caused by the blood loss associated with childbirth, the disorder is referred to as Sheehan syndrome. History, etymology, the anterior pituitary is also known as the adenary poposis, meaning glandular undergrowth, from the Greek adeno, hypo, and physis. Additional images. See also, this article uses anatomical terminology. For an overview, see anatomical terminology. Tropic hormones, pituitary adenoma, triple bolus test, posterior pituitary, hypopituitarism, references. Marie, E. 2004. Human Anatomy and Physiology. Benjamin Cummings, New York. Wheater, P. Burkett, H. Daniels, B. 1987. Functional Histology. Churchill Livingston, New York. External links. Histology Image, 14002 Low, Histology Learning System at Boston University, Embryology at Yung.edu, The Pituitary Network Association, www.pituitary.org.